Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for joining me. Check this out. This is the DST200 from Donner, but not just any DST200. This part of their designer lineup. That's why it looks a little extra special. When I let you guys know how little I actually paid for this basically brand new guitar, you're gonna wanna know what I did so you can do it yourself. Make sure you stick around for that, all right? Because right now, we're gonna go over the specs and take a closer look. We're gonna start with the headstock, all right? Now, as you can see, this headstock is the same color as the body, so that's usually a little extra. Part of the whole designer series thing, right? Uh, these tuners, these tuners are really, really nice. They do a great job. They don't feel like 18 to one tuners. These, I don't think are 14 to one either, which are usually the ones you get at this price point. They're the ones you get more often, and you always have to turn them a little bit past pitch to get back to pitch before you're in tune. These, you wind that sucker right up to pitch and it's not as laborsome as 18 to one. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's less work. So it just, it seems really quick. And uh, I was happily surprised with that. These are really good tuners. Now I'll stop rambling about the tuners and move on to the nut because the nut on this guitar looks like uh, it's a piece of bone. And uh, good job. Uh, but guys, take a look, close look. I think I have a crack, or maybe a hairline crack in my nut somewhere along the uh, high side. But I'm getting old, so you know, I could use a little help. Let me know in the comments what you think, all right? Good, thanks. Now I'm gonna move on to the fretboard. I'm gonna skip the back of the neck for a little while because I wanna hide something from you until I, I really have to share it, all right? Trust me, <laughs> it's worth it. So. The fretboard on this guitar is, uh, I believe it's called Amaranth. It's actually purple heartwood, right? For this tree that you get the purple heartwood from, it actually is uh, just the purple in the center. Everything around that is black. And historically, they've just thrown that away because all they wanted was the purple wood. Now that makes it good for us because we can get a pretty decent wood relatively cheaply for these guitars. So I'm okay with that. What I'm a little bit, the, bewildered by is the size of the fret wire here. These are some of the smallest frets I've seen on an electric guitar. And I was just saying that a little while ago about one of the last guitars I did. But this one kind of beats that. And um, I'm okay with it. It doesn't, it's not a huge deal, but it's something worth mentioning. Right? Because it's not a negative. It's just something that was a design choice for probably financial reasons. Smaller wire, less money, right? It's, it's fine though, it doesn't bother me. I have fun playing this guitar, it's a very good guitar. And uh, speaking of that, before I move on to the body, let me just say that out of the box, this guitar was perfectly playable and ready to go. It had some of the lowest strings right out of the box. I mean, this is like shredder style low, <laughs> which is fine by me, although I'm not really a shredder, right? I, I do like them low. The pickups, they're nice, but they're a little underwhelmed. Let me just leave it at that. There's nothing wrong with them aside from they just need a little kick in the pants. I don't feel as a beginner you need, there's any immediate need to change anything. Good job on the pickups. The bridge, the tremolo, looks gorgeous. I think this is the first guitar that's come in here that looks like it's been properly chrome dipped. Because chrome plating needs to be done more than once to get a really, really good shine. And the chrome parts on this guitar have a really nice deep shine. So I, I, I like what's going on here. Yeah, definitely. The pots. The pots in this guitar work really nice. The volume control does everything it's supposed to do. The tone controls work like it's supposed to. You get a good click. It could be louder, but you feel it well. You know in a dark room that you're changing positions. And you can feel right where you are. So that's good. It would be nice if it was a little louder, but it doesn't have to be. It's more about feel anyway in that situation. Now. We're getting to the back of the guitar, okay? The body, real quick, look at only at the body. It looks nice, right? Good job, okay. Now, let's move on to the back of the neck because this is what you guys really want to see. This is all clay maple. I'll start putting some B-roll up because I have too much lighting in front of me here, guys, for you guys to really see what's going on, okay? But it's gorgeous. It blew my mind when I opened up the box and I saw this, okay? It was a very, it was just very surprising to see flame of this depth on a guitar neck for a guitar that I bought for less than half 
of the original retail price. Basically brand new. And I say basically brand new, because now I'll tell you, I bought it refurbished. I'm still not telling you how much I paid because I want to go into that and what the deal is with being refurbished a little bit late. Now we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take the strings off this bad boy and we're going to open this sucker up and see just what we have here as far as the quality of what's inside the guitar, like pickups, the pots, all that, right? And to see just what kind of a route we have here because strats are known for having different kinds of, of routes. You might have a, we might have a swimming pool route here where it's just a big open box or you might have two humbucker openings and a single coil opening in the middle. Some people who are gonna to wanna to buy these guitars to mod them are gonna to wanna to know. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna go in on the back side and take a look at, and see what we see there. Because I like to know what the deal is with the block. If we got a skinny block, we got a nice big fat brass block or steel block or a zinc alloy block or whatever. So I'm gonna set that up. All right, here we go. Got a piece of plastic here. Oh, ASMR guys. Back to it. So we got a small block on the tremolo. We got the claw all the way in. This is normal whenever you buy a new guitar. Manufacturers tend to default to try and protect themselves as much as possible from returns. So this is one thing that helps keep the bridge stable during shipping. We gotta do something about this. But first, I wanna see what's in that cavity. Let's get these strings out of here. Now this we won't be able to take off all the way. There's a ground wire holding everything in place. So we're just gonna carefully lift everything up and take a look inside. How many different options are there for a Stratocaster pickup? So which one do you guys think it's gonna be? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of HSH these days. So that's going to be my guess. Let's see. Getting ahead of myself, guys. Sorry. Some of you are probably shouting in the comments as I'm getting ready to rip this thing off, right? All right, here we go. Gotta be careful. Why is it gonna run this way? So. That's what it looks like on the back. Got right, no shielding, ceramic magnets, press uh, bridge plate, small pots, but everything is cleanly done. Clean work. All 
All right, so we have an HSH route underneath the pick guard, which itself is pretty well wired up. It's nice and neat. The only thing that's missing is the shielding, which, being perfectly honest, you really shouldn't expect at this price point. I mean, it's one of those things that if you get it, you should consider it a bonus and not so much a negative if you don't get it. You know, just kind of how it is. But now that we've seen that, you're going to hear the guitar, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on the guitar. But before I do all that, do me a favor. Hit the like button, all right? Because it really does help us out with the algorithm. And if you subscribe and ring the notification bell, well, now's a better time than ever because we're doing the 10K subscriber drive giveaway. When we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving somebody this electric guitar, which was heavily modified by myself and my friend over at the local music store. All right? And that's just the beginning. But you don't have to sit here and listen to me. Click the link. Watch the video. Explains everything that's going to be going on after we hit 10,000 subscribers. All right? Great. Now that you've seen it and you've heard it, what do you think about the Donner DST200? Let me know in the comments, all right? And personally speaking, well, first, 
Before I get to that, let me tell you the deal about this being refurbished. I picked it up at, e at eBay under the listing of eBay refurbished. That's a, all the stuff is certified and you get free returns, all that stuff. So, so I went there, I was looking for guitars, I was looking for a steal of a deal and ta-da, I, I found one. It was originally listed at $90, half off the original list price of about $179.99. At least that's what I found it at as, on, on Amazon. So half off, but then it was a spring sale. So it was 20% off from Donner and 5% off from eBay. eBay's comes off first, then Donner's comes off in the total. So it's not quite 25%. But still, that brought the guitar under $69. Plus the sales tax brought it back up to $75.98. Right, so I got a great deal on this guitar, but it doesn't matter what I pay or what you pay because it's gonna be a good deal, all right? I, I like this guitar a lot. It's really, really well put together. Everything about this guitar has a sense of being a little bit higher quality than on most of the other guitars that have come in here. It's kind of like what I said earlier about the chroming, the chrome plating being done uh, a little bit better. Uh, you know, little things like that. Uh, and there's just this, a sense of it being a little bit better quality overall. So if you're looking to buy a guitar and you're looking at a Donner, Strat style guitar, it, I don't think it matters which one you get. You're gonna end up getting a good guitar. The, the price range on these entry level Donner Strat style guitars is like $150 to $250 more or less in price. So it's only a $100 price range. I don't see them getting uh, too much, too many differences from one guitar to another at that of a range. You know what I mean? It's only $100 from the lowest price one to the highest price one. So they really can't do too much different. So whatever one you get, I think you're gonna get a good one. Plus, I've had Donner products here before. I, not that I've reviewed them on the channel, but I have a Donner bass amp that's awesome, and I have a Donner guitar pedal that's great. So um, I have no reason to tell you not to buy it because I've had nothing but good things with Donner. Good experiences, excuse me. That's gonna do it. Wherever you get it, whatever you pay, this guitar is gonna be well worth your money. It's gonna be among the higher quality entry level guitars that you're gonna find. At least that's my opinion. I, I can think of one or two other brands that have come in here that come close. And um, yeah, this one just, just squeaks out one particular brand just a little bit to be the top. So yeah, if you're looking for a guitar and you want, you're looking, this guy's on your radar. Yeah, definitely. Or one of his brothers or sisters. I think it's, you definitely, it's definitely worth picking up. All right, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. You've been awesome. I've been RJ. Until the next one, take it easy.